Hello everyone, and here we are with another Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation of which leads us to a Star Wars Throwback Thursday, and this one is on the TIE Bomber and Geonosian Fighter sets from 2003. So on the front of the little booklets here, you would see the... Hang on a sec. On the front of the booklets, see a picture of the sets in action, the logos, and the set numbers, and everything. Let me start with Genosha Fires. And also, the note is with all the 2003 and 2004 uh, set lines, where there was two different color variants, like this neat border of which, as well as the like all plain blue border, which they did for 2003 and 2004 for some reason. Not sure why that is, but whatever. So for your junior fighter, okay. back on the back, the old time website, and just the last steps, and then tie bomber, same thing, and add for the minis and how they contribute, separate, separate builds to them, and the last steps. So now on to the figure. First of all. For Geonosian Fighter, is get about two of the Geonosian. Well, this is the older style instead of the odd Clone War style. But of course, they did change it up for Clone Wars and all. And Wing Piece also kind of stayed the same for Clone Wars. But Head Piece is what kind of changed a bit. You see, kind of creepy with the molded in eyes and all. But you know, it's an old time difference. Well, with this set, you get two of with this, and also this one, which does have the wing piece, but the other one doesn't really. No back torso print, but yeah, it, it's an older figure. But the torso printing and everything, just the same, but just without the wing piece. And at least the wing piece does look good, too. or chest printing does look good. Also, with Geonosian Fires, that you get two of the uh, Geonosian Battle Droids that have never been redone until the Corporate Alliance Tank Droid set in 2013. But as you see, they're in this sand red color, with, and, oh, which never used in any other sets. I do have the old style blaster there, and also back that piece, which also the same as for today but like if you're watching this lego please re do some more battle droids in the genosian style and everything since of course genosis does have its own battle droid factory and all yeah. and the only one for the tie bomber set is the uh, tie pilot of which think printing of which similar to most of today's ones But no back torso printing since for it being an older figure. And as for the helmet of which, the like imperial symbol there, uh, also quite the same. But there we go. But as for the detailing of which, Done kind of a little sloppy, as but at least they got a little better over time. And then no face printing, which of what they really should do with all the like stormtroopers and clone troopers and all, or just stormtroopers, so to differentiate them from the clone troopers and whatnot. So first of all, for the Geonosian fighter is. Do you have this first version of the Geonosis Cannon? See, which does use the jagged slopes for the base. And as you see, it's on a rotating platform, and also a couple of baldroid arms forming the standing platform, 
where our, our Genosian would stand on to control. And as on the cover, you place both of the uh, blasters on to the course. And as the main cannon of which does have a few dish pieces and one has some nice printing to it which could work for walking but with and you know and a few of it that does go out it's like so and that is so for the genosis fighter which but also this is the first version that of it but we did get about one other version of it in 2011 but that was for clone wars but I wish Lego can redo this episode 2 version of it at some point. Who knows when? Anyways, well, so quite a symmetric build of which, except for the top and bottom. Well, bottom part of which does have the, like, like long tiles there, or long plates there. And also do have the, like, flag sign pieces that have some nice shine print to it or chrome print to them kind of interesting which i don't think they used in any other sets but nice to have them here and also these long things that have some printing detail to them which could work for some genosis mocks okay. and with these off and take this off and then Get the other Genoshi warrior and enough space to fit in it. And just by sliding on down it. Which kind of tedious, of which, unlike with the 2011 version. And in the center of which is the like turret that moves on a ball joint, but kind of weak to do so. See, it just breaks off like that. Maybe because since I got this used off brick link, it's kind of hard to do so. But at least it also works for the back one where the like thruster is and also kind of falls off for being on this snot thing. But you see, like, snot all over. For, and, it's, and I think this is probably when snot was put, starting to take over for the design universe and that is it with that and on to the tie bomber and so the build of which is similar to most other tie fighter sets that we've had over time and just like most other ones some accents of blue for some reason uh, would, since of course TIE Flyers never have any blue on them, I'm uh, not sure why, but whatever. But the uh, wings of which just about like the TIE Interceptor set from 99. And of course, for the mill part of which, which gets interesting, is the, like one section of which which is kind of similar to that. and. One of which does have the blaster in it and can like open up for that and then the spring will lock it. And once you pull that and it shoots like so. And also the same pieces but with a different print to it. Also nice for mocking. And then this like canopy piece like all other TIE fighter sets have can like flip open and enough space to fit your pilot minifig into it like so. And then for a top view is once you open this up and if you can notice the blue cylinder pieces in there, which is what it can drop down. And so that's how it's called a tie bomber is once you like pull this thing behind and it makes them drop out. Oh, which is a cool feature. And if you wonder what this thing with the slopes below or for is supposed to be something that can balance it equally. If it weren't for there, it would kind of budge. So that's why they had to do so. Uh, 
not much, but yeah. So on to the final verdict on these two. So overall, these of which I find uh, pretty cool sets for the time. Like of course, did get the Genosian Fighter like once or twice before, but that was in Clone Wars. But this is for Episode Two, but Tie Bomber never got a remake. But at least nice to have it here. But if you're watching this Lego, please redo these versions of these vehicles. It would be nice. And if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you have some good memories of them. And if you still have access to these sets, like eBay Bricklink, whatever, then definitely go ahead and get them. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.